Missing Fonts. Hello, my name is Celeste Gadis, and this XD video is for anyone who's encountered the missing fonts message while viewing their prototype on their iPad or iPhone. If you're using TrueType or OpenType fonts, there's a good chance that you can download and add to your device the fonts that you need. What we're looking at here is a prototype that I saved to my cloud documents so that I could view it without having to connect a USB cable. And as you can see in the top portion of the screen in a, the blue banner, I have the missing font message. If I tap on show, it'll give me a list of the fonts that are missing. And if I do nothing, I'll get default fonts. If I use Adobe fonts, by the way, I won't get these messages at all because all licensing and commercial and personal use are covered. So let me head over to the App Store and here I can search on font installer and you'll see that there's a number of choices. I've already installed iFont. Let's take a look at that. Across the bottom, you'll see the most important uh, controls for this app. And if you go to Get Fonts, you'll have a variety of sources that you can add to or remove from just by tapping on the plus icon or the edit link. The other thing that you can do is access files via locations. So if you tap on Import and then Locations, you'll see that the services that you have linked up with the app will be accessible to you. So I've created a directory of the font faces that I need for my prototype and I've already installed a couple of them. If again, if I tap on the import button, you'll see every font face that I added to that directory is available. So I've already installed two. Let's tap on install and add the third one. And when I do this, it's going to ask for permissions to make changes to my profile. And once I allow that, it'll open up the profile in the utilities under general. And once I tap on install, it's going to request my password. So I'll add that and I'll get right back with you. And here we are. It's as easy as that. Once I tap install, and go back to my prototype. I'll be able to move through it without getting any messages at all. And I hope this has been helpful for you. Thanks for stopping by.